Hi, I'm Derek Rodway, and this is the Oceanworks Access 5.3 center console. Now, the Access is available in a high console like this or a sit-down version, which is pretty cool too. Sit-down version can come with seat suspension, which makes that a little bit of a go-kart to drive. So we'll deal with that boat at a later video. Let's dive into the Access and see the features this boat's got to offer. At the back of the boat here, you've got two options. You can run like we've got here with a full bait station set up across here, or you can run the rear casting deck, the same as what we've got in the area. So if we have a look at this boat here, we've got twin live bait tanks either side here. We've got lots of storage and really good storage access hatches across the back, removable bait board. So nice, awesome work area across the back of the boat here. If we come along here, you'll notice the back of the boat's actually scalloped. That's just to make it easier if you're getting off the back of the boat, if you're doing any spear fishing or diving, you've got a nice generous boarding step here to make it easy to get in. Horsepower on this boat, we've got power with a 115 Pro XS. Seems to be really, really nice, uh, a nice balance for this boat. It can climb up in horsepower if you need to, but I think for most people, we're gonna be recommending the 115 uh, for this particular boat. You're gonna get speeds in the early 70 kilometer an hour category. If we look at the helm set up here, this console is just set to go hard. You've got a really comfortable back seat with the grab rail incorporated into it at the back here. The console itself has got another two grab handles if people are sitting either side. And then you've got plenty of room. This is a 16 inch Simraid Evo, which is, shows you there's stacks of room in this console. If you're happy to run with twin nines, they'll fit easily. Plenty of room with the 16 to have the stereo, the Roswell head deck here, and then your switch panel sitting there as well. Console position for the throttle was excellent too, whether you're sitting or you're standing. It's a really well balanced position and the steering height some people like low steering wheels. I personally prefer high steering wheels. This is sort of sitting on the higher side, but allows you to have a really good control of the boat when you're punching through rough water. Underneath the console, you've got a shelf area there with a the footstep and that shelving's deep. So you've got plenty of room to be able to put up bags, um, anything you need quickly, just to throw down the side. If we have a look at the side of the boat here, we've got the rails and rod holders all the way down, all fully welded in. It's a good freeboard height. You feel quite comfortable. It's halfway up my quad, which is a good thing. Side pockets run the full length, so great for just being able to drop stuff quickly into the side of the boat and for storage. So let's follow up into the bow here because there's a great casting deck up here that's worth having a good look at. Now, this particular boat's got the side pockets in the bow. Um, once again, for quick access, to be able to throw things out of the way quickly, they're really handy to have up the front. They hang out so you can get a bit of a tow hold underneath here, um, which is also great for front casting up the front. Two big storage areas here. Now they're fully sealed and they've gutted. So they're designed to be able to take offshore and get water in the boat. Everything inside is gonna stay nice and dry. Um, those gutters run straight through into the drains at the back of the casting deck here. So whatever you put up there, you can have confidence that it's gonna stay dry uh, when you're out for the day. All right, if we come up the front of the boat here, we've got this big generous anchor well. It's a solid thing. So if you like running an anchor winch, there's no problems in getting that fitted into the boat. Big solid bow sprit as well, so it's going to handle any heavy load for, uh, from a chain, an anchor chain coming through. Bow plate is obviously a standard feature in the boat, and the electric motor, which most people are using as their anchor winch now in a boat this size, um, it all sits together nicely. If you're the kind of person like Tristan and Harry want to stand up on this anchor well here to cast, we do do anchor well hatches that fit in here neatly, which gives you an extra extension to your front casting deck. Let's talk about the hull design in the high tensile access. We've got a really aggressive dead rise in the bow. It's a super sharp entry, and that's what provides that very, very cushioned and soft ride as it's punching through swell. That dead rise slowly road flattens out as it goes through midships to the back of the boat, and it's at the back of the boat that provides that stability arrest when you're fishing. So what that's doing is allowing the boat to, when you're driving it, keep your nose down and use that V to really punch through the swell and other boats, you typically lift your nose up and try and get it out of the way to get up on top of the swell. But with the access, um, with these hull designs, you do run the boat quite flat in a choppy day, and that's what provides that really cushioned ride. There is a spray chine that runs, or we call them reverse chine, that runs the full length of the boat, from the transom all the way to the bow, and you should be able to see that in the footage. That spray chine grabs any water that gets airborne as it's punching through and just keeps that water pushed back down into the water you're in. So it allows the boat to stay very, very dry. The Oceanworks Access 5.3 has a lot of flexibility in the way we can put it together. There's flexibility because the brand's boutique in the way it designs. Each boat's individually designed and built. So we've got no problems in talking to you about some of the features you might want to change and twist. The only thing we're not going to change is the hull design. Things like the rear casting deck, console height, 
location of different pockets and features in the boat. If you've got some particular things you need in your new center console, we'd love to have a chat to you and work out a package that's gonna be perfect for what you're looking for in your new boat. If you're looking for a really cool center console, I think this boat's got a lot to offer. It's unique and it's a very, very good performer offshore. We'd love to talk to you about the Oceanworks Access 5.3.